Hey there, this is Kevin with Firewalls.com and today we'll be talking about seven common mistakes that organizations make when configuring a firewall, or as we're calling it, the unlucky seven, because you won't want to gamble with your network security by repeating these mistakes. First, let's set the stage. You just bought a next generation firewall with a security services bundle because you want to ensure that you're protected. And just a side note, a firewall without security services is basically a decoration. But guess what? A device that isn't properly configured won't secure your network to the best of its capabilities. In fact, Gardner says that 99% of firewall breaches are caused by configuration errors. That means that in almost every instance of a breach, it isn't the firewall itself that has failed, but the people who configured it. So let's get started. Uh, number one, relying on import-export. Whether you're setting up a new network from scratch or replacing a firewall in an existing setup, pulling the configuration from another firewall or network is probably a mistake. While those settings likely reflect your organization's priorities, if the firewall model or network is not exactly the same, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Each firewall speaks a slightly different language, so at least some pieces from the configuration can get lost in translation. This can lead to errors like application outages and potentially let suspicious traffic in or keep valuable traffic out. Number two, using broad, undefined policies or rules. Network firewalls come with a set of broad, undefined policies and rules out of the box, also known as any-to-any -any status, that are designed to be tailored to an individual network's needs. Possibly because they haven't yet settled on those specific needs when activating the device, IT personnel may choose to leave these open policies untouched using the setup wizard to get their network up and running without further customization. They plan to adjust them later, but in many cases, they never revisit those rule sets, leaving the network wide open to potential breaches. Number three, forgetting about outbound rules. The first thing people think about when they hear the word firewall is blocking external traffic from entering a network, so they tend to focus on ensuring specific policies dealing with inbound traffic are in place right away. However, security policies for traffic headed out can be just as important. As we've mentioned in previous slides, default settings can be overly permissive. If these settings are left in place, your users and hosts are vulnerable to malware that pulls data from your network to an external location. And a lack of configuration of outbound policies can leave networks exposed to IP spoofing attacks in which hackers store illegal data on your network and your organization could be held liable for this illegal data cache. Moving on to number four, not using all your security features. Firewalls are equipped with many security features that need to be configured to do their job. For instance, GeoIP filtering can block web traffic from entire countries. Content filtering can keep your users off problematic websites. And of course, email SMTP protection as any organization that's online is no doubt a heavy email user, and that comes with the firewall too. These are all key features that can be vital to your organization's security, but they're rendered useless when not properly configured. Number five, dated rules and poor rule placement. So you've created some policies specific to your network. That's a good thing but you're finding your network especially slow and users tell you some applications aren't working properly. That's a bad thing. That could mean the rules you've created aren't properly grouped or arranged in an optimal order, a challenge that can hamper both your security and performance. And also keep in mind that optimal order for policies can change as your network changes. New users, applications, devices, and threats could lead to outdated or contradicting functions further hampering your network security. Number six, varying authentication standards. We know hackers are looking for easy ways to infiltrate your network. Out of the box default passwords like admin and password are simple points of entry that are still commonly found in everyday use. But even when some users and devices follow tough authentication standards, 
All it takes is one weak password in one corner of your network to leave it vulnerable. So without strong authentication requirements adopted across your organization, that one weak spot can seem like it's rolling out the red carpet for trouble. Number seven, ignoring firewall logs. Firewalls are built to occasionally notify you about how they're doing. They feature activity logs and other reporting tools that give administrators a glimpse into the overall outlook of their network health. Firewall logs detail the kinds of traffic the firewall is dealing with and how it's responding to that traffic. Ignoring this valuable data leaves you blind to developing issues or required adjustments. In extreme cases, administrators may not even know when they've been attacked. Don't bury your head in the sand. So that's the unlucky seven. But the good news is it doesn't take luck to avoid these unlucky seven configuration errors. It takes planning. Proper planning means you'll have the right firewall for your user count, the right network design, the right policies, and more. And here at firewalls.com, we're here to help. Check the description below for a link to our firewall configuration quick start checklist from the experts here at firewalls.com. This is a completely free tool that helps you wade through the complexities of a DIY firewall configuration. However, the best way to ensure an airtight configuration is to put it in the hands of professionals. Firewalls.com has tackled hundreds of configurations for SonicWall, Sophos, Fortinet, WatchGuard products, and more. Our comprehensive configuration process guarantees your network won't be left open to breach. Ensuring you avoid the unlucky seven means you will hit that jackpot when it comes to network security and optimization. And please do subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this along with walkthroughs and tips from our certified firewall experts to help you get secure and stay secure. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.